While consumers are definitely cutting back on discretionary spending, it seems many can't give up that morning cup of joe. Well, that's one of the reasons why coffee retail stocks have been percolating this year, although Starbucks certainly has gone through its share of tough times, especially given their coffee is priced at a premium to some of its competitors. Here to talk about what else is behind the run-up for the group and whether there's more upside, David Tarantino, senior research analyst at Robert Baird. He's a new face to CNBC. It's good to have you with us. Pretty Thanks amazing, David, to look at these names. I mean, you know, even Starbucks, right, which everyone says nobody's going to go to because it's so expensive, the stock is up 56% for the year. Uh, never mind Green Mountain Coffee and some of these others that have doubled. Caribou is what, quadrupled? Do you think they're ahead of themselves? Well, not really. I think the run-up in, this, in the group this year has really been largely a function of a better earnings outlook. Uh, as, as we exited last year, there was a lot of investor concern about where where earnings estimates would go with consumer spending under quite a bit of pressure. And as the years unfolded, the revenue trends have stabilized, albeit at low levels. But we've also seen uh, a lot of these companies improve their margins through cost cutting and through lower commodity costs. And I think that that better earnings outlook uh, has, has lifted the stocks uh, so far to this year. What about food? You know, this morning, I was wondering if Haynes would taste them, but Starbucks is trying to be healthier, right? These blueberry oat bars, banana wall bar, walnut, sorry, marshmallow dream, and they're trying to say they've got a low calorie content. Are these things just too expensive for regular people? Will this move the needle at all, this move to healthy food? Yeah, I think for Starbucks in particular, food has been an opportunity category for them, and I think it will help on the margin. I, I don't think Starbucks or coffee houses necessarily will become a destination for food, but as long as the food is a good complement to the core coffee offering, I, th I think it can be helpful. Uh, so going forward, you know, I, I think food can be an important part of the stories, but but these companies still need to innovate on the core beverage offering uh, in order to be successful longer term. What is McDonald's doing to the companies you cover? Well, McDonald's has made a pretty strong push into the coffee segment, right. and, and most recently with their McCafe beverages uh, going after the espresso-based experience. And, and ultimately, we think that'll help the category because this is a category that's still relatively underpenetrated. Uh, over half of Americans today drink coffee daily, but under 20% drink specialty coffee every day. So we think McDonald's will help bring the category more to the masses. And, and, and if that is the case, most in the category will benefit from that. Well, only half of Americans? I mean, is that of the I mean, you're counting in children and stuff? That's why it's because I would have thought it was more than half. Uh, it is a, a little bit more than half of adults drink coffee every day.